guys, I wanted to come talk to you about one of our premium products, the Smart Multi Cooker. The Smart Multi Cooker can do just that. It can multi cook um, in a couple different ways. Uh, it can cook different things, utilizing different pieces, but then it can kind of do like a stack cooking as well. Um, the recipe that we're going to be doing today is hamburger sliders. So these are really easy and fun. Kids love them. Um, if you remember Crystal or White, um, I think White Castle, um, it's kind of like that. So what we've got is um, we are going to start with, I'm just going to explain the pieces of the Smart Multi Cooker. Um, and I'm going to go with the most basic first. Using this bowl here, you can cook your pasta. And so on the inside of the bowl, it tells you the max line for putting pasta in. And you use the same directions that you would for doing it on the stove top. Now the nice thing is, is you don't have to wait for your water to come to a boil. You put your water, you put your pasta in, you pop it in the microwave. And then based on your microwave, you might have to adjust the cooking time. But I usually add about five minutes. Um, and that's how my family likes their pasta. They don't like it, you know, where it's anywhere near crunchy or any hardness. They like it nice and floppy floppy pasta. All right. Now the next thing you can do with this is utilizing these three pieces. Um, you can use the, um, you can do your rice. And so you put the rice in the water as your package directions show you on the, uh, on the, the rice. And then what you do is you put this white piece on top and this is what's going to keep your rice from boiling over, you know, on your stove top, how it like will boil up and over. And then you take this piece and you put it all the way around so you kind of have to walk it around so it's on so you don't use these three pieces to do rice again i usually add about five minutes to whatever the recommended cooking time is these two pieces are only used whoops when you are cooking rice okay so but we're not doing rice today now what we have next is i want to show you these two pieces this is a colander piece you can see the holes in the bottom of it and then this is a lid not a seal because we don't get an airtight seal on this these two pieces, and if you were in my kitchen, I'd be able to let you hold them. They're heavy, and they're heavy because it's metal encapsulated in plastic. And so whatever goes inside of this colander with the top on, the top is also metal encapsulated in plastic, microwaves are not getting to it. Microwaves are not touching whatever is inside of this. Microwaves are going to penetrate through the plastic here. So what you do is you got that little ridge on the bottom. We're going to put some water in the bottom and then we are going to set the, um, the, um, the colander piece on top. And when we do that, the water is going to be heated up because of the, uh, you know, the microwaves, it's going to heat the water up. That steam is going to rise through the holes here and it's going to cook whatever's in this spot. All right. So for our, um, you know, recipe today, it's hamburger. And so it's going to steam the hamburger and we're going to have our sliders. Probably kind of cool, huh? Now, if we want to have different layers of cooking, we can have something, we can put like some vegetables up here and set that on top and then cook that way as well. I put my eggs in here and I don't hard boil my eggs anymore. I hard steam them. 10 eggs, 12 minutes, done. I don't have to worry about a whole, oh, when did it start boiling? All that stuff on the stove. Nope, perfect every time. 10 eggs, 12 minutes. Again, everybody's microwave is different. So we got a lot of options with the Smart Multi Cooker. We're gonna use the steaming option here, and this is true steaming. True steaming is when your um, it's the, the boiling water, the steam from the water is cooking whatever's inside. You can put chicken here, you can put vegetables, you name it and cook it to your liking. How cool is that? All right, so what I'm gonna do first is, we've already got the water in this. We're not gonna use this for today's purposes. Um, however, I am going to, in my freezer mate, um, I am going to take out, this is a pound of hamburger, so I've kind of pulled out half a pound, and I'm gonna put it in this. Now, I am going to put half a teaspoon of, you can do whatever seasoning, um, you know, that you like. Uh, and I'm using, I like to do like the steak and chop seasoning. And so I'm going to just kind of, and so I'm doing half a teaspoon of that. And then I'm going to mix that up with the hamburger just to give it some good flavor, flavor. All right. Um, then once I get this done, 
I am going to spread the hamburger in a patty, a big patty, to cover the bottom of the colander, all right? Um, and so I'm just making a big patty. And then you could do more than half a pound, but then it's, it's thick. And I and my kids prefer a thin patty because we're gonna do it with the Hawaiian rolls. How fun is that? All right, so we've got that. Now, to top it off, for those of you that have ever eaten at um, White Castle or Crystals, you know that they have onions on their, um, on their, uh, their burgers. So we're gonna use the Chop and Prep, I'm sorry, the Power Chef, to do, the Chop and Prep is the baby brother. So since I'm doing a whole onion, I'm gonna use the, um, the Big Daddy. All right, so what we have is a tri-blade knife, which is nice. There's a silicone um, ring on the bottom, and that just helps it to attach to the bottom. Um, we can do big jobs in this. We're not doing such a big job. Um, and I've already just cut it. Notice I've just cut the onion in half. I'm gonna put the collar on, and then I'm gonna put the, the, the motor, if you will. Notice there's no electrical cords attached to this bad boy because I don't need any. That's the joy of the power of the power shot. So I'm just gonna pull, that was two pulls. And do you see how much it's already chopped it up? Now I'm gonna pull it again, just one more. And then I am, no, I'm gonna do a little bit more because they need to be a little bit fun. And then you can kind of just shake it up to get things moved off the wall. And then I'm gonna take, take the, the blade out and I've got diced onion. How fun is that? So let me go ahead and get the spatula and I'm gonna take uh, just a little bit. I'm not gonna use all of this. And I'm just gonna spread the onion and this helps to give a yummy, yummy flavor to your burger in addition to whatever seasoning you've used. And you don't really even have to use any seasoning because that onion is going to cook it. I'm starting to cry, do y'all see that? All right, so I'm gonna put the top on it. Remember, this is um, metal encapsulated in plastic, and I'm gonna microwave it for like seven to eight minutes. Now, anytime you're using the microwave, whether it's in Tupperware or not, that you're cooking, whatever, always go less. Less is more. You can always add more cooking time. You can never take away cooking time, all right? So remember to do that. So I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for seven minutes, and we're gonna go from there. All right, guys, out of the, um, out of the microwave. Now, it's gonna be hot. The handles are very slightly warm, nothing crazy. When you open it, you wanna open it away from you because there's gonna be some steam rele remo released. And as you guys see, it has shrunk because that's what hamburger does. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some sliced cheese. Actually, I can just break this one up and probably, and we're gonna cut this up in fours and we are going to put it on the sliders and have sliders and whatever toppings we like. But because the, um, the, the heat is going to be retained, I'm gonna put this top back on and the heat that's circulating is gonna melt that cheese. So there are my sliders. All right, so what we're gonna do is just pop this on a, on a roll and then put whatever toppings we want on it and We've got sliders. How fun is that? You guys enjoy.